Today I'm going to sign the Michigan Family Protection Act. It is a package of common sense, long overdue changes to remove criminal prohibitions on surrogacy, it's to protect families born by IVF, and to ensure LGBTQ plus parents are treated equally. Until now, Michigan was the only state in the nation, one out of 50, that criminalized paid surrogacy contracts. Our outdated law prescribed up to a year of jail time and a $10,000 fine for using a surrogate. Today's bills repeal that ban and better protect surrogates, children, and parents. They will ensure that you have the freedom to start your family without political interference. Some said we'd never be in a place where IVF, surrogacy, and contraception would be threatened, let alone abortion. But that's exactly where we are right now in this country. Meanwhile, in Michigan, we're making it easier to start a family and to raise a family. This is how you see a state that supports the people, that supports families. Recently, Right to Life Michigan filed a lawsuit to repeal Prop 3, endangering reproductive freedom, prenatal care, and IVF. Not on my watch. I took swift action, filing a motion to dismiss their lawsuit. With our new majority in Lansing, we have repealed our 1931 abortion ban and enacted the Reproductive Health Act, expanding reproduction, reproductive health care. And we're here today signing the Family Protection Act. We know decisions about if, when, and how to have a child should be left to you and your doctor and your family. No one else. So we will stay vigilant to protect the hard-fought progress that we have made. Those who want to strip away our rights and our freedoms will not rest, and neither will we. 